Now, I don't usually start off with a sports story, but in her first tournament of hearts, Manitoba curler Jennifer Jones staged an inspired come-from-behind win, shocking the Ontario team and capturing the title. The crowd was screaming, I can't believe we're watching this instead of hockey. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I could hate a naked public statue as much as they do in Penticton, B.C. The artistic nudity has upset many Penticktonians who've <laughs> kicked the legs out from under it, painted him green, and used a hammer to smash his genitals. <laughs> yeah, even the mayor, David Perry, has demanded it be taken down. So, obviously, he's a suspect. <laughs> A think tank has withdrawn their recommendation that Atlantic Canada and the northeastern U.S. eliminate their borders to create a prosperous new region called Atlantica. The idea became unworkable once it was clear the plans included Buffalo. <laughs> no one knows when America will lift their ban on Canadian beef, and now Canada's ranchers have another problem. According to professional semen brokers... <laughs> And that's got to be a huge conversational hurdle on the first date. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? But, uh, but according... And yeah, don't think about it too hard. But according to professional semen brokers in the U.S. food industry, they will soon start to sell meat from animal clones. That's available soon in the new fast food chains, Maddie's Cow Burgers and Ruth's Clone Steakhouse. <laughs> Regarding the planning of his wedding, Prince Charles has had to overcome many technical problems, such as he is divorced and she is also hideous. <laughs> I've seen pictures. U.S. Ambassador to Canada Paul Cellucci was angered by Canada's thumbs down to missile defense. Finally admitting that Canada isn't really the target, he warned there's a lot of terrorism directed towards the United States and you don't have to miss by much to have a missile headed towards Canada. <laughs> On the bright side, Cellucci will soon step down. <laughs> Condoleezza Rice also has her riding pants in a twist about our missile defense decision that reflected the will of the majority. <laughs> How is she supposed to enforce democratic freedom here if she can't make us do what she wants? <laughs> and that's definitely not the official story.